is going on ladies and genitals? Yoni Slay here bringing you a short little Borderlands 2 video for you guys. Welcome to day 5 of the Borderlands 2 $100,000 loot hunt event where every day we kill specific enemies within the game and they drop weapons that they don't normally drop and it is awesome. Actually, it's not that awesome, but it is pretty cool to get back into Borderlands 2 and kill some enemies and get some loot. But today's target is going to be Wilhelm, and he's going to be dropping the most awesomest sniper rifle within the game known as the Firmington's Edge. No, it is not really that awesome, but it is kind of awesome. Fun fact of the day, I got this yesterday going for the Emperor with the Assassins and was going to do a unique weapon guide on that. So now I have a very easy convenience to get as many of these bad boys as I want and be able to do that unique weapon guide for you guys. So it works out in my favor. Um, a lot of people on Twitter were actually asking me, how the hell do you get to Wilhelm? I figure by, mo by now most of you guys knew because he was an early boss and we probably beat the game like 20 times a piece now. Uh, but the way to get to the end of the line is you know where you meet Tiny Tina in the Tundra Express? I just fast travel to the Tundra Express farmhouse and then work my way over and you'll see the exit back behind like Tiny Tina's cave. You just want to go there and then work your way through the end of the line and there will be Wilhelm. Wilhelm, he's actually pretty easy. I remember my first time fight, fighting this guy with like really low weapons and really sucky weapons and it sucked really bad but this time I can own him pretty well and he is going to drop the Fremington's Edge for me. Now, once you get into the end of the line, it is pretty convenient because you'll see right here, I save and exit of the game, I come back in, and you'll start right here by Wilhelm every time. So it makes it super easy. You'll be able to get whatever, you know, prefix of this gun you want relatively easy. So it's pretty freaking awesome that they did that. Whenever I did my Legendary Weapon series, you know, he drops the Logan's gun and the Rolling Thunder normally. Like, there's a big conspiracy that I, draw, I faked the Logan's gun with that Legendary Weapon series because they said I threw it out, like fast traveled somewhere, and then came back and it was standing upright, so it was fake. But you can't get the loading screen in the end of the line unless you save and exit and the guns disappear. But I thought I would throw that out there for those guys, the, you know, the Mythbuster dudes. It's like, oh, it was standing up. It's fake. It's fake. But anyways, I thought I would throw that out, out there. But once you get to Firmington's Edge, the community goal is going to be we'll kill 100,000 buzzards. And when I first seen this, by the way, good job on getting a million gun loaders yesterday, dude. That's sick. But um, it's going to be killing 100,000 buzzards. When I first seen this, I was like, dude, this is going to suck. Remember, you can do this on any playthrough. I don't recommend doing it on ult Ultimate Vault Hunter mode at all. If you want to do that and mess around with that, more power to you. But right here is the best place that I knew to get uh, and just have unlimited buzzards, basically. You're going to want to go to the Forge, which is part of the badass um, crater of badassitude. Mr. Torx DLC. Sorry, I got all confused. And you're going to want to fast travel to the Forge. Within the Forge, there's actually a thing similar to like Pyro Pete's Bar where you can just keep going on, going back and going back, doing Tier 3 and do it as many times as you want, like basically unlimited buzzards. And you'll get some Torque Tokens out of it. So take the path that I did. I showed you the map, map there. Um, it's over to the right that was within the red circle. Sorry that you got to go back. I should have said that. I just suck at making these videos. Um, but just follow the path I do around here and you will get to the little board where you can accept the mission. Uh, I actually screwed up the first time and died, so I had to cut that part out out and then come over here. Yes, I died in true vault hunter mode because I jumped off of the cliff trying to get the pieces. Now, what you want to do here is make sure that you actually collect all of the like the flyboys bling parts, okay? Once you get 12, the buzzards will still spawn. If you if you like kill them off of the map, those parts will fall off of the map and you won't be able to collect them and you have to kill yourself to restart the mission or whatnot. If you complete the mission, like you can see here, I'm about to do, I got 12 flyboy bling parts. All you got to do is just keep killing the remaining buzzards. Go turn it back in and restart the mission. Come back over here and just keep grizzing these buzzards. Dude. It's pretty easy. Um, if you don't have the DLC, you can go. There's a couple places you could go. You could go into the dust. You could go into Sawtooth Cauldron. You could go into Thousand Cuts. But this right here is probably the best that I know of just because it's like unlimited buzzards. It just keeps spawning. You can keep turning in the mission and just keep doing it over and over and over and over. So it actually makes it pretty easy. Like, it may, like when I seen 100,000 buzzards, I was like, wow, this is going to suck. But on True Vault Hunter mode, and if you're a level 72, Especially if you got over level 8 weapons, it's just like, you can see I'm just no-scoping these dudes for days. Figured I'd work on some sniper challenges while I get this community goal done. But, anyways guys, good luck on getting the Firmington's Edge. Have fun killing all these buzzards with your Firmington's Edge. And, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye